Any form of substitution cipher or transposition cipher is pretty much useless. A simple personal computer can break such encryption easily. Feistel cipher named after German-born physicist and cryptographer Horst Feistel utilizes the concept of product cipher, which is the execution of two or more simple ciphers like substitution cipher and transposition cipher in a sequence in such a way that the final result or product is cryptographically stronger than any of the component ciphers. Feistel cipher encrypts the block of data at once instead of letter by letter, hence the term block cipher. There are n different rounds. All the rounds have the same structure. A substitution is performed on the left half of the data. This is done by applying the round function f to the right half of the data and taking the exclusive order of the output and the left half of the data. The round function has the same general structure for each round but is parameterized by a round sub key ki. Following the substitution, a uh, permutation is performed that consists of interchange of the two halves of the data. Everything is performed n times per n rounds. One particular implementation of the Feistel cipher was data encryption standard also known as DES. Although this standard has been replaced by the newer standards like AES and IDEA, it is always nice to know how it was implemented. In the case of DES, block size and the key size were 64 bits. 8 bits of the key were used for parity checking, so functionally key was of 56 bit length. There is also initial and final permutation termed as IP and FP. Before the main rounds, the block is divided into 32 bit halves and processed alternatively. Particular implementation of the round function in DES includes expansion, key mixing, substitution, and permutation. The 32 bit half is expanded into 48 bit using the expansion permutation. The result is combined with the subkey using XOR. After mixing the subkey, the block is divided into 8 6 bit pieces before processing by S boxes. Each of the S box replaces the 6 input bits with 4 output bits. Finally, 32 bit outputs from the S boxes are rearranged according to a fixed permutation. The alternation of substitution from S boxes, permutation of bits from P boxes, and expansion provides so called confusion and diffusion, respectively, a concept identified by Cloud Shannon. A peculiar thing is that DS takes 56 bit key length but uses 16 round of 32 bit different and unique keys. Keys are expanded using this scheme. PC1 or permitted choice 1 selects 56 bit key from the 64 bits. The 56 bits are then divided into two 28 bit halves. Each half is thereafter treated separately. In successive round, both halves are rotated left by one or two bits, specified in each round. And then 4 tiers of key bits are selected by PC2 or permitted choice 2 and everything is repeated 16 times for 16 sub keys. In summary, the whole process looks like this. 32 bit right half is expanded into 48 bit and XOR with the 48 bit sub key. 56 bit key is divided into two halves of 28 bits. Both halves are rotated left by one or two bits specified in each round. And 48 bit sub key is selected by PC2. The result from XOR is processed by SBOX and gives 32 bit output. 32 bits from the SBOXes are rearranged according to a fixed permutation by PBOX. Then we take XOR of the output from the PBOX and left half, and this becomes new right half of the next round. The new left half is the current right half. DS is obsolete at this point. The biggest flaw of the DS algorithm was the length of the key. The most practical attack to date is still a brute force attack.